Hello and welcome to our final roundup for the New York shows. I'm Enda Tahitimanik and this is actually probably the review that I've been most looking forward to, talking to you about Willie Shavaria, Luar and Puppets and Puppets. So this is the final day of New York Fashion Week and I actually think it's quite a shame by this point you've kind of had your Carolina Herrera show, you've had your Ralph Lawrence, you've had those kind of big mainstay brands on the schedule and actually quite a lot of press have left but actually this was the most exciting day I thought, these collections both the atmosphere of the show, but also just the feeling that these designers really actually have a point of view. They have something worthwhile to say. And it was, it's both the kind of day of shows that was about a lot about play, but also about culture and a feeling that there's really a person being designed for and a person also receiving that. You can feel it at the show. So let's start by talking about Willie Shavaria. Willie has really become one of the kind of go-to brands on the schedule the last few seasons, but actually he's kind of in his 50s and he's been around for a long time working at other brands and he is such a skilled designer and today was such a brilliant example of storytelling and just a complete concise point of view and concise vision. It has a feeling of kind of joy and celebration about it, but that's also underpinned by these kind of more slightly more serious ideas. So Willie is a Latino designer and um, he's Mexican American, first generation American. He grew up in California, but has kind of been in New York for many years now. And his clothes are really about, there's always an underpinning idea of social messaging behind them. Kind of a key set of work for Willie, which we definitely saw today, was this oversized tailoring, looking at Chicano culture, kind of zoot suit. So there's wide lapels, wide shoulders, nipped in waist, big wide pants. So definitely kind of seeing that silhouette again today um, at this show, which was held at the Woolworth building, which is really this kind of neo-Gothic style building. So lots of kind of gold gilding. It almost brings to mind that kind of ideas of kind of religion and Catholicism. You think of kind of Latino and kind of those kind of elements of religion in there and that kind of Catholicism. It was this amazing setting because the, all the models came down these stairs and these it's kind of heavy kind of 1930s, very, very 1930s, 1920s American kind of gold gilded doors kind of open and closed for every single model exit and walk and instantly we kind of we had this kind of key tailoring from Willie but then we had these huge oversized roses which were done as corsages and also on the Mexican charro hat which was also another kind of signature that ran throughout this collection so kind of great tailoring great kind of plays with that idea of proportion whether it's the rose or the tailoring but then really in this collection that was about pairing it with sportswear and utility wear there were some kind of takes on the football on the american football shirt meets sweater so with big puff sleeves and then kind of track jackets almost shell jackets and shorts basketball shorts then paired with kind of tailored jackets throughout all of this kind of sportswear athletic takes there was the Shavaria logo kind of curved and almost from a distance it looked like the Nike swoosh which I don't know if that was intentional but I thought it was quite clever on some of the trousers there were patches which said Willie on the bum and it almost looked like a Dickies label Willie previously did a lot of work with the Dickies brand he also has kind of history with Gap, with a cycling brand, with Ren. So you can see all these kind of, all of that work that he's been doing kind of coming to fruition in this brand. You know, yes, this brand is one of the kind of hyped brands at the moment and everyone's kind of looking at it as a new brand. But when he's been designing for so long and he's a really skilled designer and I think it's worth pointing out that, you know, when we're in this culture of kind of people graduate from fashion school and they're expected or they think that they should jump into launching their own label, actually what comes out of waiting and kind of doing your work elsewhere really does pay off in being you know really well-made clothes a really concise vision which feels like it has identity it has point of view you know the casting of this collection also brought this together so well and the amazing kind of total look with this amazing kind of hair and the patent brogues in this you know this is there was nothing that I could fault in this collection in terms of a designer presenting a point of view and presenting an entire 360 collection. So we've got Willie Shavaria, who's really kind of talked about at the moment. And then we've also got equally the brand Luar, which is designed by Raul Lopez. And Raul Lopez is also another kind of Latino American designer really coming up at the moment in American fashion. And you can feel this kind of cohort of designers that 
by some sort of coincidence are all coming up. So this collection of Pharrell was about taking an experience that they had in the Dominican Republic and using that as an illustration of where they see themselves and their culture and community. So I went to meet them before their show and they're telling me about this experience that they had, where they're driving along in their car in the Dominican Republic to go and visit a friend who lives there. And they stop for some reason, I think for some traffic lights or something. But anyway, they stop in the street and on one side of them, they've got both their windows down and one side of them, they've got this group of kind of local kind of women and sex workers and kind of just a complete kind of mix of local people together with music blaring, dancing. Um, Raoul kind of described it as that they were kind of screaming for help in their own way because then on their other side they had they showed me a video as well of this kind of it was kind of an evangelical service kind of preachers and they showed me this video and it's kind of late at night you've got some kind of bright neon lighting people local people kind of sat in chairs that they've all brought listening to this person preach and Raoul was saying they would kind of found themselves in the middle of these two different parties who are calling out for save for kind of for their saving grace for help in their own ways um so this collection was about showing that place that, that they find themselves in that in between uh, that in between space that push and pull between these two different kind of narratives and you could really feel that in this collection you could feel the push and pull of this kind of evangelical kind of priestly almost tailoring so the opening look of this collection is this crop jacket and skirt which has this button detailing and Ra was describing it to me that you can almost unbutton this and sex it up or get it more and more conservative and what's really important about this jacket is the specific color that Ra produced for this they really described it as this buttercream shade and how specific they'd had to get that buttercream and that idea that shade's important because it was that idea of that when you put this on you feel rich and i was saying oh it springs to mind the coat that jlo wears in made in manhattan where she's a maid working in this hotel and then she puts on the coat of a, of a really rich woman and it's kind of this idea of putting it on and feeling rich and Ra was really talking to me about that idea of of wealth and richness but then that push and pull and that idea of kind of being able to play with it you know that idea of color throughout this collection and throughout Ra's work is really really important these very specific kind of neutral shades um you know it's not about bright color but it's about silhouette it's about cut it's about those kind of neutral tones you know and I say it's about cut but similarly to Willie this was about combining tailoring with kind of more sportswear as well so we had the tailored opening look shirts with the the collar was separated and made to look like it was almost when you're being pulled back by your collar like a child or being kind of chastised so again that idea of push and pull so we've got kind of tailoring sartorial codes but then we also have kind of sweatshirts track pants but trimmed in kind of faux fur again that idea of kind of lux playing with different codes the tailoring in this collection to go back to it was very much about kind of elegant silhouettes but then also kind of different ideas of power so kind of big hunched up shoulders tailoring that kind of walked and wrapped around the body but then you'd also get jackets which were kind of much more simply cut to the body and like not about kind of morphing it and changing it and you know the way that tailoring sits on your body very much makes you makes the wearer it changes their stature and you could see Raoul playing with that in this collection. Another great thing in this show was the glasses really kind of pushing the eyewear eyewear level of kind of product offering they were kind of these big surrealist shapes in beautiful kind of tortoise shell acetate um, and then kind of the halter necks of dresses and tops would be attached to those really completing this kind of whole look with like a lot of attitude and again in thinking about whole look casting is really important role has kind of the same people coming every season it's his chosen chosen family they're all kind of there while people are whooping from the crowd you've got your sell out and a bag but here in a massive kind of oversized shape which is almost like a briefcase again coming back to those ideas of kind of power logos in this collection yes kind of varsity style on sweatshirts but really actually beautifully done on the embroidery you probably won't be able to tell on the images but the sparkly kind of crystal embroidery on kind of the closing dress and some of the other looks as well like some little kind of halter briefs which were great paired with a shirt that embroidery actually is the Luar logo, which is a really 
clever and subtle touch. And you, you know, Lua and Willy Shavaro, the brands feel contemporary and exciting and they feel like that feels like New York fashion should be today. And it's about real people telling real stories and that's what to look at and get excited about. The last show I want to briefly touch on is Puppets and Puppets, designed by Carly Mark. Puppets and Puppets is kind of one of the more artsy kind of New York brands. Carly herself is a fine artist. You'll know the kind of sellout cookie bag. Her work's very much coming from this artistic background. It's about play, it's about satire, it's about having a bit of fun. However, often her clothes, because of this kind of artsy take, are kind of more unwearable. So we've definitely seen over the last couple of seasons Carly moving towards making more product that people can wear and this collection definitely reflected that. It was kind of the runway was lined with those kind of play electric animals which kind of bark at you. They were like holding handbags. This kind of satirical play is still there but actually in the clothes it was more about kind of a lot of drapery, a lot of wearable dresses, a lot of kind of you know more more solid kind of product. Perhaps that's a result of her working more with the CEO of Cise Marjain, um, who she kind of met and has spoken about kind of who's helped her kind of work out how to build this brand. And I think it's just interesting looking at this collection as a kind of close on the last day of how a designer who's very known for kind of being artsy and very kind of metaphorical in her work and creating art pieces, how do you then grow that into a sustainable brand you know, I think there's two sides to look at this. I think it's really exciting that actually fans of the brand can now probably buy more products and buy into that and be a part of it. But then you just don't want to lose that spirit of play. And I think that's a great way to think about this last day of New York Fashion Week. There was such spirit to it, whether that was play at Puppets and Puppets or the spirit of real point of view and identity at Willy Shavaria and Lua. Thank you so much for joining and we will be back with many more London Fashion Week reviews. I'm flying back in the morning. So yeah, London, London next. So we'll see you then hopefully. Bye.